someone know that you are on the Lamb of God. You are on the tree of the Lord. The Lamb of God saves our creation. Our precious and awesome is like now of Exodus. What a day is today once again the praise from our mouth. What a day the praise from the infants. He has cleansed us. He has purified us. Thank you, he has perfected us. We are His. Sanctified and purified. Thank you, Lifted Jesus. up and glorified by His name. He deserves the praise from our spirit, from our heart. It is yes, divining our spirit, God, we are aiming to praise. worship you. It is every praise. To any part of the world, it is every praise. The praise. It is every the glory. It is a hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The word fits him alone. We well, say amen. For that is his language. There are things that are not fit to They can never fit to man. Him alone is to be glorified. I believe we have enjoyed the day the Lord has given us. And this great message that is upon our lives. He said to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is praised in the assembly of his faithful people. It is our time to praise. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing. And make music to him with tremble and hurt. For the Lord takes delight in his people. Let his faithful people rejoice in his praise and in his God in our houses and sing for joy on their in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. With the praise of God in their mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. And the double-edged sword in their hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, basically. on the nations praise and punishment on the peoples. The Lord is praised to burn their kings with spitters and the fame. Their nobles with shackles of iron to carry out the sentence of written against them. This is the glory of all his faithful shall people. begin with the paradox. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He says you can praise him in your bed. You can praise him in your car. Mm -hmm. You can praise him at your workplace. You can praise him at school. You can praise his name under the tree. Praise the Lord. We praise Just you. Glorify him and recognize him. Praise your Messiah for you. Deserve all the praise. Deserve all the praise. Yes, we love you, Jesus. Jesus at this time that you have given us for us to glorify you. together father we just want to thank you we thank you lord god for this evening we thank you lord god for the wonderful service that you have given us we exalt your name lord god and we surrender to you 
because you are the source and the sustainer, you are the protector of everything that we are and everything that we are to be. We pray, King of Glory, that we look to the interest of you, King of Glory, that, Lord, your name be praised, and, Lord, that the sinners shall be envious to know who our God is, and we shall lead them to you, and we shall win so many souls that the devil are destined to go to hell, but you, Lord, has come with the hand and the power of salvation. Thank you, Lord God, that we are still standing in the season of in the season of the harvest, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for your faith, for your, for your, for your favor upon our lives. May you be in that house, may you be in that home, that whatever we do, King of glory, Lord, it is also for the blessing, salvation, and healing of that particular house, of that particular child of God who is who grew to this program tonight. Thank you, Jesus. In all we say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! I believe all of us we are settled. We are, we are ready to be blessed. We are ready to, to, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, and we are ready for the counsel of the Lord, which does not fail. Praise the Lord! Yes, the entire week we have been looking at Exodus. That has been a very wonderful and awesome topic. Yes, and tonight we continue, and I believe tonight or today is our last day for. Exodus topic in the name of Jesus Christ. It's our last day <clears throat> since I've been checking. It's not the last time of Exodus being preached about. The Lord shows his people, the Lord directs his people, the Lord speaks to his people. So anytime he may come and direct us with another Exodus of, uh, uh, um, work, Exodus um, revelations, praise the Lord. So we pray that. Uh, in this night, the Lord is glorified. The Lord is praised. Yes, how was your day? Were you blessed with your day? For me, I've been blessed. It has been a tiresome day. That you run this side, you run that side. But anyway, the Lord is the one that has the final say for everything that he has done for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Products of tonight, we go to Proverbs chapter 23. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. In my Bible, the word is saying, uh, My son, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. My son, give me your heart. My son, give me your heart. And let your eyes observe my ways. My son, meaning child of God, give your heart to the Lord. And let your eyes observe the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to us in that way because He's the one that knows our lives, that we we follow the steps. Praise the Lord. We follow the steps, we follow the steps that He tells us. So He said, My son, give your heart to me. Give your heart to the Lord and then let your eyes. Now, these eyes are spiritual eyes that you observe what the Lord is doing with our. Um, spiritual eyes not only physical eyes yes physical eyes as a lot to pray if you take 100 percent 30 percent is physical eyes 70 percent is spiritual eyes because the lord we worship is in the spirit because the lord we worship he always live in the spirit and he shall always be by the spirit praise the lord he is always by the spirit in the spirit with us so the only step that we can take at time is to be with the Lord, with our hearts and with our eyes. Why are you supposed to be with the Lord with your heart? Is because the Lord dwells in your heart with your eyes. So that you may observe, we said, uh, watch and pray. Watch and pray, it means you, you need to make sure that whatever you are seeing in your spiritual life, it is what the Lord has shown you. So now, as you walk in the faithful ways of the Lord, 
what will help you is to be right with your heart before the Lord. You live a pure life that glorifies the Lord. And then you shall see. In Isaiah, there is a scripture that I love so much. Um, in Isaiah, these are just paradox. I did not yet start to preach the paradox. Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, who came with the message of repentance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will, I will read Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26, and then I will jump to Isaiah. Listen to what he says here. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. And Isaiah 30, verse 21. Isaiah 30, verse 21. He says, Isaiah 30, verse 21, it says, uh, Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right, to the right hand, or whenever you turn to the left, your ears shall, your, your ears shall, your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying this is the way walk in it whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left so now the, the lord is saying this um imagine he wants our hearts to be right before him he said give me your heart so we give our hearts to him and then in proverbs he's talking about us opening our spiritual eyes because no matter how much you may see the word of god to look physical it is not physical it is spiritual it is written in this manner that our physical eyes can catch it because we are living physical and spiritual life double and now here he's saying again give me your ear so there are things that are very important that the lord would want us to walk into when you give your heart is interested in very two big things your eyes and your ears your eyes and your ears and the scripture says faith comes by healing healing is the word of god and faith is stirred up where in our hearts and then confession is made with our mouth so now i'm asking you uh this time that the lord has given us can you give your heart once again in a way that you you, you uh in a way that you now begin to see with your eyes what the Lord wants. In this area of sin, it is truly to observe, it is truly to master, it is truly to walk in the perfection of the Lord because when you walk in the will of God, the words of the Lord is the, way, the will of God, then you shall not lack. And many things are not going to be a mistake. You shall not bump yourself in many of the things because you are sin. To me, I would say, if you don't see, then you must hear Isaiah 30, 29 says, You will speak, this is my way. So there are times that we come on a crossroad whereby you don't know which direction to go. And then you wait upon the voice of the Lord. But now listen, you don't sit in the house, you don't sit somewhere and pray and they say, I'm looking for a job, my God. And, no, you, 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 you go somewhere. I, I'm just going in town to look for a job or to the industry. I don't know where. And then you trust in the Lord because you have given your heart to Him. So now, He will speak to you by directing your heart. He will say, this is the word. Apart from saying, this is the word, He will show you, this is the place. And these are many things that have been missing in many of our spiritual life as children of God. Because we, we, we don't hear. Some of the people, they walk in imagination, they imagine things and they conclude and they come up and they say things like this. So that one is self-deception. When you give your heart to God, you will not even force to hear. Not in and out, in, 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 in forever. Your lifestyle, your heart is given to God. And then the Lord shall surely show you His ways. His ways are His will. You and me is to observe. And when you look at observation, it is to walk in carefulness. Checking where you're stepping, checking where you're sitting, checking where you're doing your activities. 
Praise the Lord somewhere. So this is what the Lord is saying. He says we need to walk in the right way with our spiritual eyes. Praise the Lord. Thank you for my father. He's also supporting what I'm saying. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we need to walk in his ways with our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ear must be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me, let me show you. The devil is not clever. He is just sharp in closing your eyes and closing my ears. Yes. It, these two things are very sharp with him. Because as long as you cannot see the will of God over your life, you will not see the goodness of God. You shall live in the life of complaining. As long as you cannot hear God speaking, you will doubt your prayers if your prayers are being answered. So the devil fights these two things. He fights them hard. Imagine, it's not only here, the Lord goes deeper and says, He shall give us the dreams. We shall dream dreams of the Holy Spirit. So he looks for any word to speak communicate with man. Imagine I will speak of myself, some of the things that he does. He uses my body parts to communicate with me. Different body parts. Maybe I, I believe maybe that time I, I'm, I'm disturbed that I cannot hear him. Maybe I cannot see. But he uses body parts. This one will move and in my heart he gives me understanding. Because my heart is with him. That's why if the devil may close your eyes, may close your ears, he will speak to your heart because he has his heart. He, he has, he, God has your heart in his hands. Apart from God having your heart in his hands, he will speak with the body. For me, literally, because walking in the prophetic ministry, walking in the prophetic life myself, as, as a prophet of God, listen to what I've learned. There are times that the Lord will not speak to me in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a vision. He will not speak to me in a dream. He will not speak to me healing. He will speak to my heart. If he does not speak to my heart, he will use my body parts. He will use some things that I will feel my body part. And when I pay attention to what is happening with my body part, and then it will, it will be well with me. Let me, give, let me give some prophetic signs that I know. By the way, we, we, we are planning, I believe by God's grace, because of this disturbance we have failed to do. We have not failed, I mean, we have delayed to do many things. As the prophetic school comes, I believe many of us shall be there, we shall learn some of the things. Okay, now let me see, let, let me tell you. Especially concerning black people. I want you to forget following the tradition the way they have told you because of what I'm going to say. Spiritually and prophetically, in my life, when I see this is moving up, moving like this, I know that the Lord will show me something good or I'll hear of something good. I, I, I definitely know. I'm just showing you some, I'm not, I'm not going to speak everything, but I'll, I'll just show you something. When I see my calf is moving, meaning, there will come a sudden journey. Something will come up that will require me to move. The calf, if it's moving, shaking on its own. This one is shaking on its own. I know. When the down one shakes, I know there's a bad news coming and I must rebuke it because it's a bad news. If it shakes this side, it shakes the other side, I rebuke it. When I see my ear, my ear it moves. The Lord is telling me, my concentration to hear from him is not much. Now I need to pay attention. Meaning what I do in those times, I will sit and pray. I will sit and pray and concentrate and hear what the Lord is saying. I will concentrate. Let me, let me, let me, give, let me give you an example um, of one of the visions that I had. In China, before the attacks uh, 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 between uh, Chinese and Africans started, in March, I prophesied here even on Facebook. In March, the Lord was showing me I'm in China. And I see that their things are being blocked. And then they were complaining. And then he opened my ears to hear first here in Africa. People were fighting. That's why I said they were fighting, not ourselves, but fighting the businesses of Chinese. And then I said it in March. I said, I'm saying this, the businesses of Chinese will be attacked. And then when I said it, the Lord took me back again. He made it clear because I prayed about it. I said, God showed me because you, you took me there. Now I want to know. Because there are times that the Lord will take you to that particular place when things are happening or he will speak to you. In many ways, he speaks in many massive ways that I've learned. Many, many ways I can tell you, I can teach you, I can show you. Uh, if you don't know, many great ways that he speaks. And then when I went to pray about it again, I believe that was on 28th of March. And he showed me that it is not only in Africa. All over the part of the world, every, many countries will really fight against China concerning the coronavirus. And I made it clear in March, I said, because of coronavirus. And 
this thing is rising and we are praying about it that the Lord may have a solution and he has a solution because there is conspiracy over the same issue concerning the same place where the sickness came from and now you see countries joining up together and fighting every Chinese business praise the Lord somewhere so God speaks in many ways God speaks in many ways he speaks in many ways many times if there is a very big problem coming a very big tragedy coming the Lord does not leave us he communicates but the thing is the devil who is a thief he comes and steal your sight he comes and steal your healing so now these two things must be preserved how mention them Lord pr protect my ears protect my eyes just as you have taken my heart in you look many people many believers have made mistakes with this don't think that because your heart is in the Lord and then your ears are secured and your eyes are secured no no your heart can be with the Lord but the ears are not there that's why this the, 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 the scripture says your entire body is the temple of the Holy Spirit Meaning the whole, the entire body must be protected. The whole body must be protected. And I profess and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord shall give you the mind to remember your dreams and to hear the voice and to see. A great man that I've seen who honors, a great man of God and a woman of God I've seen who honors God is the one that relies on the word that he speaks. On the word that he says because that's that is the only thing that moves us from one level of understanding to another level and I'm very very pretty sure that you and me have lost many things by sight the devil has stolen me by healing the devil has stolen that imagine there are so many believers who says I don't dream it is impossible then how will you know your own life you cannot hear the voice you can also with your own eyes you cannot hear from your, with your own heart and then even your dreams one of these must be opened i'm not saying now that now you become a prophet no it's a normal way of life healing the voice of god show the seeing the god's direction it's a normal way of life as a child of god it's a normal way of life so now when the lord has come upon us and is directing us we shall make less mistakes Whenever we go through most of these challenges, it shall be because it is God's will. Praise the Lord somebody. Praise the Lord somebody. So this is how we need to do. He says, your ears, and he's putting both ears, not one, he's not saying your ear. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Imagine, this is the will of God for you to go this side. This is God's will for you to go that side. This is your God's will for you to sit right here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was, I was asked one day by one of my friends, he said, does God remain quiet? Yes. There are times God remains quiet. God does not speak every day. Does not mean that when you are a prophet, God will speak to you every time. No. It's fair if your eyes are open and your ears are open, you see things because you have the gift in you. You hear because you have the gift in you. But now it depends on God for God to say, my son or my child, my servant, speak forth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. One thing that uh, makes many of us to be limited in all the things that we do is because of living a sinful life. Because of walking in darkness. That's one thing. Praise the Lord. So we need to get rid of that. And get rid of the spirit of people who discourages you, speak evil always, who you, you, you watch evil always, you, you criticize others always, you, 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 you talk about magic, witchcraft, and those are the movies that you love. Imagine, in Ecclesiastes says the dead flies brings the bad adult. The, the, all those things, they will contaminate your spirit and they will make you not to be effective in hearing and seeing God. Praise the Lord. And uh, one thing that I love to encourage children of God, I say, if the devil has never given up, don't give up. Keep on fighting. 
Even when today you pray, tonight you pray, and then you did not hear anything about uh, uh, the communication between you and God from your heart, uh, your, your eyes and your ears, in your dream, don't give up. Don't give up. Just continue. Don't give up. If the devil can never give up, don't give up. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't give up. Don't give up. Praise the Lord. Yes. I will never give up. And we must never give up. We shall continue fighting in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Imagine what? Sometimes I'm just out. I want to talk about Exodus and the teaching about the, 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 the prophetic line. It's still coming. Praise the Lord. Yes. Okay, let me, let me, let me, just, let me just talk about one. <laughs> let me just talk about... Let me just talk about one scripture. The, the most, one of the common scriptures. Let's go to the book of uh, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. The Lord is glorified in your life and in my life. And His faithfulness continues through all generations. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will talk about one of uh, uh, the, the common ways that uh, that is known to us. Joel chapter two. Praise the Lord. Joel chapter 2. Verse 28. Joel chapter 2 from 28. This is now the prophet is prophesying. He says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions and also on my maid servant and on my uh on my main servants and on my maid servant i'll pour out my spirit on those days praise the lord just on that one i want, I want us to move it listen what he's saying and it shall come to pass afterwards that i'll pour out my spirit on all flesh i'll pour out my spirit on all flesh this one now it, it does not really talk about human beings alone no it talks about anything that is flesh that exists that lives he says the scripture says we need to preach the gospel to all creatures you, you, you may maybe get surprised some of you before i'm going to say imagine even the dogs and the cat can learn the word of the, the way of the gospel even the dogs and the cat, even the crocodile and the lion and now he's saying God does not just move with the Spirit on his own children alone. No, because anything that God gave man, it must suit at the level, at the time, at the season, which has given to man. So there will be no conflict. He does this. So if you and me are yielding the voice of God and walking in his ways and saying, it is easy for you and me to teach our pets and other things in the same way. The what? Yes, yes. They, they, they can. They, there is salvation of the animals also. It is a different salvation of man, but there is salvation of animals. If you, you say, eh, what are you talking about? Yes, the salvation of animals. Look at Noah. Look at Noah. He was given the same thing that Prophet Joel came and and, and, and and prophesied about. Noah had to preach to all creation to all creation all spirit all creature how did Noah afford to bring a lion inside the ark how did he afford to bring a crocodile inside the ark how did he afford to bring the bees <laughs> the bees have no friendship <laughs> how did he, how did he afford so now it is when because he believed and he walked in the power of the prophetic word and the spirit of the lord and to work with Noah, 
with his family. And it's the same spirit that was spread upon all creation. Praise the Lord somebody. It, it's like that. Let me, give an, let me give an example. Let me give an, a, a very good example. In Africa, in many countries, you see there is too much of uh, there is too much of malaria. Praise the Lord. There is too much of uh, malaria. At first, this medicine of malaria, <laughs> we are using what? I don't know, the medicine when I was born, the medicine that I found in the 1980s, 1990s was chloroquine. Chloroquine was being used for malaria. It came at a certain time. <laughs> the mosquito boycotted that they know us. <laughs> no, the mosquitoes stopped dying. It's like chloroquine stopped working. They changed the medicine to uh, fancy that. It's for chloroquine now. After changing to fancy that, still there was a boycott of demonic mosquitoes and saying, no, they know us. They changed. And man also changed. To, to, to court him, I believe that that's the medicine now that is being used. And some of the people, they use quinine. Why is it like that? There is a, the nature itself knows that God never created the world to remain the same. So when it comes with this, the dispensation of this, and every spirit will suit that. Even when the devil sees that they know me very well, he will work, he will change in his tricks. But using the same way of sinif acts, but tricks changing. If it was coming on top, it would start coming left, or right, or, 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 or whatever behind. That's how that's how it is. So the Lord has given us the, 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 the movement that we need to have and that we need to walk with, the movement of His Spirit, that all things must be what be preached to, and must receive the same. Spirit of God that is moving at that time. Praise the Lord. So now, how is it? How is it done? In which way? Is by receiving what the Lord has given us, which is the word. Your sons and daughters will what? Prophesy. And your old men shall see dreams. And your young men shall see what? Visions. Imagine it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very big problem if you look at it spiritually. You are a child of God. You don't prophesy even in your own life. Even just to say, I prophesy in my life. There shall be no dryness concerning my finances. There shall be no sickness. It, 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 it is very difficult for some of the places of worship. Someone to say like that. It's like you're insulting. You imagine how difficult it is. Now he said, if you cannot even prophesy, then you have to dream or you walk in visions. And this, this word, if I can translate in my own understanding, uh, your old men will uh, dream dreams they will dream it is also in the way of that uh, every mature child of God the old man it does not really mean old in the age that's what I understand it may be anyone who is old in church who is old in the, in, in the gospel in the works of God they must move in one way or the other concerning these things they must do that they, they, they must move in the in the dreams. So if you have been a child of God for a long time, and you don't see anything concerning uh, what I'm talking about, there must be a a change. There must be a change. It is fulfilled in the book of Acts. The disciples knew the time has come which the prophet prophesied. Again, it is in the same book in chapter two. Praise the Lord. It is the same the same thing in chapter two. In chapter 2, the disciples, when they received the Holy Spirit, they all did the, they walked in the same way and they prophesied. Hallelujah, somebody. They prophesied. In chapter 2, thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. You can see that, is that day when the Pentecost came and then the Spirit of the Lord came? Uh, in that way, in that manner of glory and power, and people came to watch. And you know, uh, there are many times that God does not use ignorant people because they don't understand what He's doing. You want the people walk in His words, in His words, and then He will do exactly as they say. Praise the Lord. Chapter two, verse four. I love this. He says, 
and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them what? Utterances. As the Spirit gave them what? Utterances. So they started speaking according to how the Holy Spirit was leading them. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that this is also your season and it shall never pass you, that you shall walk in the same manner, you shall live in the same manner, and your eyes and your ears shall open in the name of the Lord and you shall just walk in the will of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Chapter 2, um, verse 16. He says, but this is what was spoken by prophet Joel. Now look, when the Lord takes your heart, he will speak to you. Who told Peter, who was giving a sermon, that this is the time? There was, he followed the word and his heart was with God. So when he spoke, he rightfully knew this is the time that was prophesied for. This is the time that was what? Prophesied for. And then he said, Prophet Joel prophesied about it, and then he says, It shall come to pass in, in, in the last days, says God, that I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. He repeats, on all flesh. Praise the Lord. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall see visions, and, all, and your men shall dream dreams, and on my servant, on my men servants and my married servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. I shall show wonders in heaven above, and the sun. Okay, you know, you don't go there. But the Lord is saying He's going to do that. He's going to give us the spirit, and He's going to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this is your season, and it shall never come to pass. So let me let me let me challenge our faith. Let me challenge our faith. Let's go to the book of Exodus, chapter 14, once again. Let's go to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 14, once again. I want you to hear what the Lord said um, here. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God that He's with us in our meeting. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Chapter 14, verse 27, He says, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth while the Egyptians were fleeing into it. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Praise the Lord. Uh, 28. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, and all the army of Pharaoh that came into the sea so much as one of them remained. Praise the Lord. But now listen what he promised them. And, 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 and them they could not see what he promised them. Chapter 14, uh, verse 14, he says, The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your, your peace. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Praise the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. If we start very much on, 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 on 13, he says, And Moses said to, pe to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. That's the word I'm looking for. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see them no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So in following the Lord, you need to have what? Patience. <clears throat> in following the Lord, you need to have patience. You need to have Patience. When the Lord speaks with his prophetic word, you need to have patience. When the prophet prophesied, prophet Job prophesied about this time, which came, uh, being fulfilled during the time of the disciples, he just spoke. We don't know how many, uh, I'm not going to count how many uh, 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 years passed there, how long was the period, but it came to pass. Now Moses here, he's telling the children of Israel, he says, you shall not see these Egyptians anymore. And I believe they did not believe because it's in front of them there was a red sea. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about you coming out of an exodus and still trying to count some issues that I don't think God can open my eyes <clears throat> because of this, this. If it is something, there is something that you need to surrender. You just have to surrender to the Lord. Because now, as you keep on going on, you don't want to take someone who's blind. You don't want to take someone who's deaf. 
You don't want to take someone who carries his heart or a heart in your own hands. No. You, you, you need to give it to the Lord and the Lord shall make it right. He's saying today. He's not saying tomorrow. Today. So now, the work of the Lord begins the day you accept. The time you accept. Let me not even say the day. The time you accept, then it is sure working. As I speak now, I believe there is one of you who is listening to me now and is saying, oh, how can I see? How can I hear? The Lord will do his own ways. The Lord will open you. How were you born? How did you grow up? Do you see how you did you see how you grew up? No, you just see things change. It grew, you grew up beyond, it is beyond your knowledge, it is beyond your working. So now what I'm telling you is that walking in the Lord is just the matter of believing. Believe is receiving. So it, it, it is not going to take a blast or a trumpet sound from heaven and boom, 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 boom. Hey, now you can hear all the angels come and dance with you and so on. Oh, maybe the man of God again will prophesy. Say, your ears are open, your eyes are open. No, believe the word what the Lord is saying. I'm saying if you can grow up without controlling your growth, but you can see you're changing, your face is changing, your body is changing. Meaning the Lord will still do that as you put your heart in Him, as you trust in Him. In this season that we've we been studying about Exodus, believe the Lord to take you out in every situation. The children of Israel did not only come out from slavery. They came out from, uh, from the, the, the background of being called bad names, being dependent always, being abused always, being called names always. They came out of that. They came out of the life of losing your... Your, 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 your identity using your life they came out of that because now when your life is secured in the hands of the Lord then you have your identity and it is standing because you are a citizen of heaven you are a child of God you belong to God they were lost Moses had to introduce himself where he came from and do sending they did not know their God you and me have an advantage because we know the God that we worship, we worship in the name of Jesus. And many are the times that Jesus demonstrates his power in many different ways. So he's saying today, today, believe. Because the demons that have been troubling you, that you have seen, you shall not see them anymore. Dare you believe. When you believe, the Lord is going to work on your belief. He's going to work on your faith. You are going to come out of that sickness. You are coming out of that disease. You are coming out of that failure. You are coming out of anything that you know this is dull, uh, uh, powers of darkness that is, that is hindering me, that does not want me to go forward, that, that has come to disturb my way. The Lord is going to take you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm repeating what I'm saying. If you pray, you don't see anything, you don't hear anything, don't stop. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. I love one song that uh, I used to enjoy a long time very much. One of the songs of Ron Kenori. He was saying, if you are in the, in the mud or in the problem, don't stop. Keep on moving. And then he said, go ahead. He said, go ahead, 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 go ahead. Don't stop in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I will never stop. And you listening to me, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that there shall never be, there shall not be a spirit of laziness. There shall not be a spirit of excuses. There shall not be a spirit of doubt and failure to follow the law. There shall never be. There shall... There is something that does not happen well in a human's life. All that you think about is money and your relationship, your physical relationship. You, you need to worry. You need to know and to mind if you don't hear anything from God. If you don't see anything, you need, you need to know that you're not standing nice. You, it must be something that becomes as a concern to you. Why am I like this? The Lord is calling me. I'm an old person because I've been in church for a long time. I'm supposed to dream. I'm a mature, I'm not, I'm not a baby anymore. It is impossible for me to live two months without seeing anything from God, hear anything from God. No, that, that can never be. That can never be in the name of Jesus. As I speak to you, your eyes are being opened. You shall know how to walk in the will of God and your ears shall be opened. You shall know how to hear the voice of God and your heart shall be 
concentrative and your, your, your spiritual uh, senses shall be open so much that when the Lord speaks, it shall surely be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, when the Lord speaks, it shall surely be done. The voice of God, you shall sure, surely hear it and you shall testify of his goodness and of his love. Praise the Lord somebody. Praise the Lord somebody. So you and me, when we are out of anything, don't forget. When you look into, uh, into this scripture in uh, Exodus chapter 15, the children of Israel now reached up to the time of down. They were celebrating and singing songs. Moses sang a song of praise. Miriam sang the song of praise. And then the Lord gave them all what they desired. But when you are in that right way, I said, do not forget what? God. Because when they saw things have become better, they tend to forget God. Do not forget God in your own way. Do not forget God no matter what. Walk in His way. Walk in His faithfulness. Walk in His love. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I just want us to pray. I just want us to pray now that, Lord, you shall open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts shall always remain in your hands in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. For those, God, that have been healing you, Messiah, let them continue healing you. Let them continue seeing you. For those that have no any clue of how you speak, may you teach them in your own ways. You speak, Lord, you spoke the same words, King of Glory, in the book of John, that the Holy Spirit shall be our teacher. The Holy Spirit shall teach us and shall remind us of which of all the things that you did. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up, Lord God, Almighty, our hearts and give them unto you. That you speak to us in Jesus' name. Speak to us, Lord King of Glory. We need direction in this world. Without direction, we cannot move according to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We surrender everything. We surrender our lives. We surrender everything that we do. Our work, our business, and so forth. If in the same business, we need to hear your direction. Even in the same work, we need to hear your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even just to live happily with my family. I need your direction. I need your voice. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And I pray, I know that you are opening somebody's voice. You are opening somebody's voice to pray unto you. Until Lord God, the door is open in the name of Jesus Christ. It is true, it is not easy because we are in a fight with the flesh that desires all flesh, flesh, flesh. But you Lord has called us Lord God that we can live also, that we must live a spiritual life that translates everything from the spiritual into the physical and that we walk in the dominion and empower that you walk not in arrogance not in ignorance but walk in the full understanding of you and your desire that you have upon us thank you jesus christ thank you mercy god for being such a great god who has given us this precious time of glorifying you father we pray if there is anything that we ask of you father let not your word fall and disappear like water being poured in the sand let your word work in our lives let your word manifest its power in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray for that servant of God listening. I pray for that woman servant, for, for the man servant, and for the woman servant, who, who, who may not have eyes to see, ears to hear, and the heart may serve, a descending heart to hear the voice of God. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. May your eyes be open to servant of God. May your ears be open to servant of God. May your heart be uh, sensitive to hear what the Lord is speaking to it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Messiah, that all the direction we need about spiritual life is your spirit to, to direct us, to speak to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we pray. Amen, somebody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for your water. Let me pray for your water. Father, I pray for that water. That water being used, King of glory. For any medication, we pray that may you protect that water in the name of Jesus. May you sanctify it. May you purify it. That as we take it, as a child takes it, Lord King of Glory shall bring sanity in the body of healing and deliverance and breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, you can still send me the prayer request on the number, which is 081-620-7383. You can send it on 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 on. on uh, no more uh, SMS or on WhatsApp. It will still find us and we shall keep on praying together in the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, we shall sing one of the songs, and as we glorify the Lord with one of these songs, and then we will come back and pray and rebuke every demonic force of darkness and sickness and disease.
They shall never be anyone like you, Lord. To the Lamb of God, we give glory. We give praise. We give adoration. That you are the beginning and the end, King of glory. You are the healer. You are the subversion. You are the power. To the Lamb of God. To the Lamb of God. Yes, to the love of God. What would they do? The praise of the infants. Yes, Lord. He has cleansed us. To the love of God. We are here. In my spirit, I feel joy through the power of God. I just feel like shouting on top of my voice. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is today that the Lord has spoken to us. That we move in His glory, move in power. Yes. You deserve the glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You deserve the praise. You deserve the praise. You deserve the praise. We say amen. To the Lamb of God, we give glory. We give glory. The King of the Lord. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. These words are not words for entertainment. They came on your life. That your heart, when it is with the Lord, he directs your ways, he speaks, and you move in power, you move in his adoration, the power to see, to walk in his words, the power to hear, he shall direct your way, in the name of Jesus, oh King of glory, we thank you, we thank you Lord, it is your healing time now, in my spirit of the fire, hey, I wish I was in church. I demonstrate the power like never before. Praise the Lord. I thank God this is another church going on. That the Lord is healing your body now. The Lord is healing your body now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at a man who is telling me that things does not work in your life. I can hear that. May things begin to work. May things begin to work in the name of Jesus. On the nation. In the name of Jesus, and punishment on the peoples. I speak your healing to burn their kings with. I speak your healing. I speak your deliverance. I speak your breakthrough. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. The leg pains, the chest pains, the stomach pain. In the name of Jesus, be free. We command every demonic force. March out of that body. March out of that life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus commanded every demon. and said come out. You spirit of death and now. Whatever demon is disturbing you. Whether in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I say come out in the name of Jesus. That sickness leaves you. That dilemma leaves you. That darkness leaves you. In the name of Jesus, may the Spirit of the Lord dwell in you and in your family richly in Jesus' name. Be healed in your body. Be healed in your body. Be set free and be delivered. Be set free and be delivered. The Lamb of God is not now in heaven. He's in your life. He's in your house. He's in your house. He's in your room. He's right there in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. There's a testimony. There's a testimony. Be free and be healed. Don't be afraid because of the current situation. Our things have gone and so forth and they are fallen. Be free in the name of Jesus. May the Lord rise them. The weight of the Lord here is telling me that the idols, the powers of darkness, the sicknesses you see, the fears you see, you shall never see them anymore. Just believe and receive it in the name of Jesus. Believing is receiving. Believing is receiving, child of God. Thank you, Lord, that there is no distance with prayer. You are healed. You are set free. In Jesus' name.
Give glory to God. Give glory to God. Give glory to God. If you want to renew your life, you're standing with the Lord. I want you to speak after me. Or maybe you're not born again. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I give my heart to you. Renew my life. Renew my words. Change me. Forgive my sins. I believe in you. I trust in you. That you died for my sins and God raised you from the dead. I have no other life. I have no other way but you, Lord. Thank you for forgiving my sins. I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. And may his face keep on shining upon you. And may you find the center if you are not around us here where we are. Find the center where you shall continue worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. And the direction of the Lord shall be there for you. If you need to be baptized, go to the church where you can get your baptism. If you need spiritual baptism, go to the church where they know about spiritual baptism. That your life may never be the same again. That fear needs to go. That demon needs to disappear. For the Lord is in control. In Jesus' name. Yes, I want you just to confess with me. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm not afraid of the devil. Last one. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not afraid of the devil. Shalom with Exodus.